Hello. Do you work for the central government of the United States? If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com. The purpose of this march is in part to collect your written grievances and deliver them in respectful but open defiance of unjust federal edict. Centralizationists at the muggy imperial seat have declared that no New Hampshireite may distribute so much as a slip of paper on its unsightly fortified properties. Having already served four days in a concrete box, for doing just that, it is now my duty to repeat the deed and perhaps serve many more days so confined, if necessary. All right, uh, if anyone would like to write down their grievances on this piece of paper, this is the only paper I will be handing them, so have at it. The second piece will not go to them. You can write down whatever you want. Uh, yeah. The smaller the better, I suppose. So again, I informed the central government that we would probably not attempt to enter the building uh, today. And if we do, hey guys, oh, welcome. thank you, How thank you, you for coming. It's good to see you. <laughs> oh, thank you. You guys I started am... out over there, <laughs> and the sign tells you to come this way. Yes. Welcome. The building is open. I understand you have some paperwork that you hope to deliver. Yes. Thank you. Do you want to file that with the clerk's office, or no? I wish to deliver it in violation. Federal Regulation 102-74.415. I, 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 read, I read that. You're not going to get arrested here today. Good. Well, thank you. Can you can file a grievance against the federal government. There is no issue with that whatsoever. Wonderful. Well, that means something has changed in the last 15 years, and I <laughs> well, thank you for wait changing Wait a minute. Wait. The First Amendment clearly says that you, you can... You guys pass laws that violate the First Amendment constantly. No, no, no. So, I don't. Well, the legislator does, and the Correct, people you work do you for... Understand, well, do you understand that... The people that you up. The three branches of the government. They so violate the Constitution is, all the time, all three. Judicial. Yeah, the judicial, bra judicial right. branch gives people sentences that violate their First Amendment rights constantly every single day. But this isn't the place to take that up. This is the federal district court. You should be talking to the legislature. They're the ones oh, we do. that need to change we do that. the laws, right? We They're do the that. ones that need to change the laws. There's a law. That they just ignore us. Yeah, they ignore us. Um, when you think like he's been doing for but like that's 15 what this years. Is, sure, but that's what this is for. You get together like this. Nope, it doesn't work like that. You guys keep us. You are part of the this system. You are part of the problem. I'm a all right, so rather, rather than get involved in a heated debate about this, I understand your passion, and I support you guys in the First Amendment. Uh, Dave, if you have paperwork that you want to deliver and file with the clerk's office, you're more than welcome to do that. There are three things. First, you can't have firearms on federal grounds, okay? So I see that we have two. They're on the city grounds. And third, yep, I understand that. And as long as you're down there, you're fine. If you come into the federal building, you have to wear a mask. That's by court order, okay? The third thing is no reporting devices. So if you come in and you have See, that it, violates our person and their rights right there. Can you hold on and let me finish? Just let me know. You just, so you there is a court order. Yourself, it's court order 83.8. Yep, that violated okay. our first That was a court first. order. Yep. Is that law? Or is it just a court order? It's a court order. Is it law? I'm well, not going to do No, 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 because we follow the law. Here's the deal. And I don't follow orders because okay. we're not subjects. Here's the deal. You can come in, you can file your paperwork, and reporting devices have to stay out. If you bring them in, we're going to hold on to them until you leave. Can you keep reporting and point in the right direction? No. You can't. So you would seize even, them? I think that's darkness hides from the light. We're going to hold on to them. So you would just violate my first amendment right? These are our grievances. These are the grievances? Do you want me to file these with the clerk's office? It's up to you what you're doing. I would doing really rather be that you come in and do this yourself. My concern is the, the limitation on videography inside the building. That is a violation. So of five of you. If you insist on us coming in, we will come in with the cameras, whether you like it or not. He's doing pretty good. <laughs> you're, I'm trying to be helpful here and being a little rude. Oh no. 
So here's what I want. Who's part if of I could, people you, who kidnapped five of my you boyfriend. Come in together, okay? So that you're not by yourself, and you can file this for the clerk's office. But we have to have it done by four thirty because it's going to close. I've done what I came here to do. I do not need to do anything else or anything. Are you sure, me? I would rather you deliver this yourself. I had also. I'm a deputy U.S. marshal, so. Hmm. Could I have your name, by the way? Yes, you can. It's Joe Latanzi. Mr. Latanzi, you're, you're doing fantastic. But, <laughs> but um, uh, the um, the concern that I have is the restrictions upon videography uh, inside that building, and also dividing our group here, which, although it is non-violent, sure. is uh, a force that was. Uh, accumulated for the purpose of opposing this government, and um, so we, uh, we would be better off not fighting. Additionally, I had uh, indicated to the central government that they would not be properly coming into the building. Uh, there was some wiggle room on that, but that it was my preference from the beginning. To the uh, this is also in, in the deference to federal concerns regarding recent dis displeasures that have been dis dis disturbances that have gone on inside federal buildings. Uh, so the other thing um, I do want to point out is that uh, I was arrested for doing what I just did okay. in 2007. By who? Uh, by uh, initially, uh, it's complicated. It was an IRS office. They called Homeland Security, which missed me, then came to my home, delivered a delivered a citation, which I refused to pay the fine after several court hearings, and uh, eventually they held me in contempt for not paying the fine and to be in jail for four days. So I. Uh, just for doing what I just did now, and I'm ready to take eight days now, or eight months if need be. But uh, I appreciate the fact that that appears to have changed a bit. But it's okay, we don't expect you they're to be not, educated on the laws you um, uphold okay. every day. Is there anything else? Well, uh, one of the purposes of this visit uh, was to achieve two defections of federal personnel in New Hampshire from the federal government to our side. So we are inviting you to join us. I'm not going to do that, but I respect what you guys stand for. Respected by letting us carry through with their rights. So that's the first thing. Uh, so no, it says I, he respects it, but doesn't actually have, uh, respect it. Because he's a liar. Listen. He works for the government. He's a liar. I'm sorry that you feel that Can way. you release our friends? You guys, you guys are Can you release welcome. our friends? Hold on one second. You guys are welcome to stay as long as you want. Uh, well, duh. We, we bought this. Yep. I know, I know that. Could you please release nobody? Pardon me? Could you please release nobody? I can't, no. Nobody's formerly known as Rich Paul. Right, That's going to do it for me. Thank you for your time, Marshall. Thank you. Do you have any comments on the Crypto 6? I don't, no, I don't, I don't. Can you please drop your badge and join us? I won't, but I appreciate the Give offer. Give it time. I, I appreciate that you guys are exercising your First Amendment right. Keep it up. Can you offer the same Thank things you. I offered you, sir? Would you guys drop your badge and join us? I don't think right. they will. For each of you, and in fact for everyone everywhere, I have this request, which I hope will not sound off, self-aggrandizing. Go to bitcoinyandy.net, undertake one of the constructive action items there. Unlike our aggressionist foes, abolitionists like you have an infinite variety of options for achieving your objectives. Speaking of which, some of you have asked what are the objectives of this three-week campaign. They are partly to raise an additional 25,000 federal dollars worth of donations for the legal defense of the New Hampshire Bitcoiners which Washington arrested. Learn more at freethecrypto6.com. In 2018, Free Keen teamed up with LBRY.com to back up our YouTube. Libraries already protected more than one video that YouTube took down. Now, in 2021, our YouTube's been given a ridiculous strike for a 15-second promo from 2011 for harmful or dangerous content. Library doesn't have strikes or any way to take down videos. Our days are numbered on YouTube. Get the app at lbry.com or follow our channel on Library's new platform, Odyssey, at video.freekeen.com.